Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make Gil with the Bojan Southern Front. Now notice that I mentioned the Bojan Southern Front and not Delivrum Regine or Zador. The reason why I say do only the Southern Front because it's the first area and most of the Gil came from that zone because there's a lot of good things in there that's not really in there in Zador and the Lubrum is an instance. So basically all the Gil came from the first zone. Now, in order to unlock that, you must do the Evilies Raid of Stormblood in its completion. You also must do the 5.1 main story quest, Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty, and you can start doing the quest Hail to the Queen. That can be un unlocked right here with Kaya 10 next to the uh, company chest, which is going to be right here in the market area. After that, you will follow the quest path to the past and the Bojan incident. That can be found in Rogers Reach right here at X 11.6 Y 11.6 as well. And then you follow that quest. You will go through the Dolman Enclave to get to the Gangos area which will take you into the southern front. Okay now remember make sure you do your research on your marker board to make sure that you're not getting the items that don't sell very well. So you basically you want to Go for the ones that sell the most. Okay. And also, if you want early access to these guild making videos, make sure to become a Patreon supporter or a YouTube member. The link for the Patreon will be in the description down below. Now, I also will give you early access to the guild making list as well, which is basically a week or two before I make the video. So right now I'm sitting at about 10 million gil from doing the Bojan Southern Front. Now it's going to be a little bit of a slow burn to sell some of this stuff. So patience is a virtue. So we'll start with material number one. So basically what you're going to be selling is the fragments for the actions in the Southern Front, which is going to be the yellow ones. The green ones will be coming from the Zadnor area. These here are used to augment your armor inside the southern front which will give you a plus one haste for head hands and feet the body and the legs will give you plus two haste these are extremely expensive because you either can get them with rng through the treasure chest inside the cash room which you need for the story or you can get 500 bojan coins or 999 depending on the piece that you're getting the lock boxes, like the ones in Eureka, will have dies, so anything that comes from that you can sell. Most of it has been undercut at the high heaven, but you can get white and jet black die if you're lucky. And the rest of the fragments, like these ones here, will come from the castrum, drops from sprites, enemies, the undead, sun fates, and stuff like that, so just like Eureka. So first retainer, I made about 4.8 million. Second retainer has the Construct 14 mount, which is the most expensive mount in the Southern Front because you need 180 Bojan clusters, which basically comes from killing the Magitek mobs, which also spawn the fates as well. So this is all the stuff that I sold on this retainer. A friend of mine actually bought these two on my stream yesterday, so thanks to him, I was able to get 10 million gil from the Bojan Southern Front. Now to go over to the marker board to show you the fragments, which you actually need to level up inside the Southern Front in order to appraise them. But first, let's look up the Construct 14 mount. So right now, they're going for 1.4 million or 1.5 million on my server. Again, these are going to be a little bit of a slow burn, so patience and a little bit of undercutting will go a long way. Gabriel, which is the other mount that comes from the lock boxes, are not as expensive as the construct. Because the duels inside the southern front gives you 99 lock boxes. So if you're really good at them, you guys can get a couple of Gabriel mounts. I know uh, the YouTuber Cider Sprouter actually got four out of 1600 that he got from doing all the duels in his videos and he's a lucky 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 person that get that many gabriels right so the forgotten fragments you actually need ranks to appraise them 
So these ones here require rank two and each fragment, just like the logograms, will have certain spells and actions tied to them. So these right here will take rank two. These would be rank five, rank eight, rank 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. You need rank 15 in order to enter the cast drop. Caprice, Transcendence, Becoming, Sagacity, Mastery, and Superstition all come from the Castrum. Compassion, Resolve, Violence will come from mobs, not the Magitek ones, but the regular mobs. The Undead will give you violence in Zone 3. Uh, preparation will come from the Undead in Zone 1. And I think I think it was care or compassion will drop from in zone two. Just let me double check. Yeah, zone one is dead, is prep. Zone two dead is care. Zone three is violence. The skill fragment comes from zone one, Bojan mobs. Zone two, awakening. And zone three is compassion. So these here, like I said, come from the cash room. Now the blue ones here will come from the Bojan clusters. Okay, this one requires rank 10, rank 13, 14, 15, and these also 15 as well. These will give you pure essences or pure abilities that will go for the second half, which is the Deliverum Regina. So these also will come from the first part of the Bojan Southern Front. Now all of the sprites will basically drop the same um, actions doesn't matter which rank they are so each zone will have certain elements there's rain which is water sprites earth earth sprites and lightning sprites all right i will make sure to um, copy and paste the areas where to find them and the locations for all those you're going to be doing reflect farming just like in eureka to do th those ones which i'll basically show you how to do that i'll also show you guys how to farm bojan clusters with your healers because that's the best one to do it but ultimately you want to do it with a group of people. Okay, so first let's look up caution. Right now on my server, they go for about 2.3 to up to around 3.6. Okay, so make sure you check your sales history. Like I said, they're going to be very slow and hard to sell, but a little bit of tenacity, a little bit of patience, you'll get there. Preparations. Skill. Ingenuity. We have care. We have awakening. Support. See how they're not really signed as mu as fast as you like. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Violence. Resolve. Compassion. We have superstition. Mastery. This is my retainer right here. Still trying to sell some more, but probably going to end up using it myself. Sagacity. Becoming. These are the more expensive because these are the deep ones, which are used in the... No, that's pure. Deep, deep ones are the better versions of the normal actions. Transcendence, which also is deep. Which is probably the most expensive ones. And Caprice, which is basically like kind of useless. I don't see too many people using Caprice. But if you're the type of person that wants to unlock them all, you're going to have to go through the cash room for that. So those are all the fragments and the sales history for my server. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go into the southern front and I'll show you guys exactly where to go for the cluster farm.
All right, so here we are in the southern front. Now, if you're doing this for the very first time, you'll take the ferry in Yantra to get to the Gengos. After that, you can take the Aetherite in the Enclave and take it straight to the Gengos area. So here is where you're going to be getting your actions from. You're going to need Lost Chain Spell, Seraph Strike, and Essence of the Ordained. I would honestly go with VP if you can, because this will give you a 24% increase in damage. And this one will give you 20%. Lost Chain Spell gives you 45% extra damage. And Seraph Strike gives you 60%, but reduces your healing by 60%. So these actions combined makes you a killing machine. Now, unlike Eureka, you have a weight capacity. Each action will have its own weight. So Chain Spell is 20, Seraph Strike is 8, and Ordain is going to be 6. Obviously, you can pop one to empty out your holster, and then grab the other ones. There is a way to increase that to 99. You need Synthetic Resin, or a Thread, it's called, which is basically cheap on the market board to increase your capacity. But those spells is what you're going to be using to make this a whole lot easier. Now, you're going to be using... A white mage's misery make sure you're in battle otherwise the lilies won't generate you're also going to be using your presence of mind to make casting a little bit faster and you're also going to be using your assize to do extra damage so ultimately what you're going to do first is you're going to get your lilies you're going to start with the lost chain spell to get extra damage make sure the ordain is popped and then do thin air to get seraph strike and pizza zero and then you're going to basically misery and then a, a size or a size in misery to hopefully knock everybody out now for the cash drum since it's up this is going to be up periodically throughout the instance but if you do critical engagements like this here, it reduces the time that Kestrum takes to come back. So you always want to make sure that you do the Kestrum every single time that it is up. So before we go ahead and do that, the resistance supplier here is where you get your augmentation pieces. Okay, 500 for the head, 500 for the hands, and 500 for the feet, and 999 for the legs, which is basically 10 runs of Castrum. And then you need Bojan coins to get the gear itself. After you get all that, augmentation. And then you get plus one haste for the head, hands and feet, and plus two for the body and the legs. So this can make it so much easier. Now, the other thing is the Bojan earrings. This is given to you after you appraised 100 fragments. And this gives you a plus three haste. So all that together, basically you'd be slapping everybody quickly with all that haste. Definitely helpful during the duels. And over here is where you guys will do the lock boxes. The historian back there, if you give them field notes, you can exchange them for lock boxes as well. Now, over here is where the quartermaster is. This is where you'll be turning in your clusters. And the clusters don't drop 100% of the time, so you might have to do this a uh, couple of rounds to get the 180. And this is where you guys will get the actions as well. These cost one each. Then here's the construct 14. But first, make sure you get the rider map for Boja. This will increase your speed on your mount. Very, very helpful. So that is where the quartermaster is. So I'm gonna show you guys the reflect farm for sprites and then also show you guys how to do the Bojan cluster farm solo right so i'll see you guys in a bit so step one for the Bojan cluster farm get on your mount step two make sure you have your lilies prepared if you are a white mage obviously and then you're going to go in a circle grabbing all of the mobs as you go along mark where you're going to stop this way you guys know where to, to go because sometimes I think they have a tether 
which will basically make them go back to where they were. So try to make it somewhere in the middle. After all this is said and done, you're going to set yourself up for the combo. I accidentally did Seraph Strike before Chain Spell, so make sure Chain Spell is up first. Alright, so I hop off my bike and I prepare myself with the lilies. So once the all lilies are there and everyone's together, again, chain, spell, thin air, seraph strike, misery, and then assize anybody who is left standing. If there are still some be of these alive, then just do glare and benedict yourself if you need emergency heals. And again, the clusters may drop and they may not, so you're going to have to do this a couple of times to get the 180. So if you guys want to do another section, you can take Camp Steva Teleport and it's basically the area is going to be straight up. Before Warren, there is a fate that spawns here. So if that is up, you guys can go to the south section instead. So this one's going to be a little bit easier to do because it's a smaller area. Just make sure that you don't go too far out and make sure that you get their attention. So basically, it's the same concept. Make sure your misery is pre-prepped. Get off your bike when everybody's together. Chain spell, thin air, seraph strike, and then do your misery and assize anybody who is still alive. And again, benedict yourself if you need emergency heals. So for reflect farming with sprites, you're going to take all your clothes off and put a replica weapon on to reduce your item level to zero to do maximum damage on reflect. Make sure when you do reflect, you're not anywhere near the sprites because they will kill you before the reflect takes effect. Okay, so once you are basically aggro to everybody, just make sure to refresh it around the three to two second mark until they are completely and utterly dead and wait for them to respawn. This is the fastest way to get a chunk of fragments to get your earrings or to basically stock up on basic fragments. All right, so that's basically how you reflect farm in the Bojan Southern Front. So upon their death, they give you around three, four to five fragments. And obviously if you're in a party, everybody will get their fragments as well. So definitely enjoy the drops if someone in your party is off doing reflect farming. And last is the star ranks, which are very powerful enemies that you can't kill unless you choose them with lost death and sleep. So the first zone will always give you caution. That one cannot be slept, but everybody else can. This is also going to be in zone one. If the death does not take, run away while they're sleeping to reset them. Using the ordained essence can increase your chances of death working. Otherwise, you would have to reduce their HP to have a higher chance. So caution would be in zone 1. Zone 3 is going to be violence. So if there's nothing that's undead at the moment, you can kill the star ranks. The second one in zone 3 is the morble. Also will drop violence. Again, sleep and swift cast death and move on. The second zone, again, sleep, and then lost death. So this one is going to give you ingenuity. All right, so those are all the star ranks and how to kill them quickly. And there you go. So remember, when reflect farming, make sure you're far away from the sprites first, activate reflect, run into them, re-reflect to get the aggro, and just let them kill you. Simple as that. Now, when the critical engagements pop, such as the Castrum, the Resistance Recruitment tab is where you go to register. It takes about six minutes before the Castrum begins, so you get plenty of time to do whatever. This also goes for the other critical engagements, which also can give you coins as well. So that's why it's very important to do them. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys what to do inside the Castrum to save the prisoners to get the extra chests that you're going to be using to get all those rare fragments and also if you're lucky enough those augmentation pieces as well so after you kill the first boss you go into the cast room a little bit deeper and you fight one of the garden leaders after that the barriers will go down and you have six directions east west and then the intercardinal 
make sure you kill the door boss to get into the other doors. Find the executioner and kill him ASAP before he kills the prisoner. You can't heal the prisoner no matter what. So use Lost Chain Spell if you have it, Assassination if you're a melee to kill him instantly, or Lost Death. Try to take them down a bit before you do it to make it a little bit easier. After that, if you have Lost Swift, make sure to use it to rush to get to the other areas that are people are having an issue. If you do not have enough people, then you might end up losing some prisoners. So make sure to rush immediately to the next area to save them. All right. If they die, you lose a chest. So make sure that doesn't happen. And good luck with that. Once the second boss is dead, you get the chest for saving the prisoners. So the far right is becoming. Top right is Caprice. Bottom right is Mastery. Bottom left is Superstition. Left is Sagacity. And top left is Transcendence. And get your boss chest as well. Now, if you guys want to see what the mounts look like, this is the Construct 14. Here's his running animation. Unfortunately, it does not come with a dance emote, which I think would be pretty cool. And this is him flying with the boosters. Unfortunately, generic music. Next is the Gabriel. All right, it has the Bojan music. And here he is flying, transforms. All right, so those are the mounts that you get in the southern front. Now, if I find that the Zadnor area does as good as the southern front in kill making, maybe I'll do a video for that as well, but we'll see sometime in the future. All right, so I will see you guys in the next guild video. And of course, good luck. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to support the channel even further, consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter. The link for that would be in the description down below, as well as the link to my Discord channel. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. So until next time, make sure you're walking in the glorious light of the Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Take care.